So this machine we've just done our test lift with. You'll notice this machine has got four suction pads to attached to it. These particular pads are rated at 75 kilos each. So this machine with these four pads attached has got a safe working load of 300 kilos. And in any configuration, the working load of the machine will be the combination of the suction pads attached to the machine up to a maximum. Suction pads that you receive on site with your machine will have been chosen by us to suit the panels that you're lifting. Uh, these are fairly standard suction pads, for example, that we use for trapezoidal sheets like Kingspan RW and Tata Trisomet. But you may well get different shape pads and specialist pads to suit certain panels. Uh, there are, I'll just come across here and show you ones. There are uh, different shapes, 75 kilo pads, for example, here that will suit a panel with narrower valleys. If you're lifting King Zip, for example, you'll need panels, uh, suction pads like this, where the width of the suction pad is uh, specially designed to go between the stiffening ribs on a King Zip panel. And if you're lifting Stedman AS35 panels, you'll receive these uh, highly specialized SP14 suction pads, which are very narrow and designed to go between the stiffening ribs on a Stedman AS35 panel. Basically, on the stiffening ribs of the AS35 panel, the shoulders of the stiffening ribs are too tight for normal seals to seal over them. So you'll be receiving a machine with the suction pads you know, correctly configured and correctly chosen to suit the panels that you've told us you're lifting. And for that reason, it's very important that you tell us at the inquiry stage what the panels you're lifting. And a final word about the panels, now you need to make sure that all panel films are removed before you attempt to lift them. So that means peeling the uh, film off, particularly where the suction pads are going to locate, and the suction pad seals need to be in contact with the metal surface. Now you will have noticed earlier on that there are spare seals sent to site with every machine. And all the suction pads, with the exception of the SP14 pads, have got removable seals. So a spare set of seals comes to site with the machine and it is possible to change those seals. This is simply in a compression joint and uh, there are instructions in the manual and also a separate video we can send to you to show you how to change those seals. But if you look after the seals, and the main thing about looking after seals is to make sure that they don't touch anything other than the panel surface and make sure they don't come into contact with any sharp objects. And if you do look after them, they'll last you the duration of the project. But if for any reason you have to change them, there are spare seals with the machine. So I'm gonna stop this video now and we'll do a final brief video showing how to pack the machine away again.